What is up guys, my name is Anwar and I'm back for the video and today we are back with another video and today I'm doing one that's a tiny bit different than what you're used to me doing and that is the Don't Escape series, well the first three I'm going to be doing anyway and this one is um, made by the developer script folder as you can see written up here that is very loud, I'm going to turn that down some um, the options here that's better so this is a different type of game than what you've probably seen this one is, um, the, well, it's kind of the point of the game, you don't escape, which is a lot different than what you might see a lot of other games do. And this is very, this style of pixelated, uh, um, uh, point and click style games. Squidward has also made the Deep Sleep series, which is a, uh, horror game in the same style. And they're very good. I'll probably play them on the channel eventually too, but so we got this here. I woke up in a room. The room is lo not locked and I remember everything. And I'm a werewolf. Tonight I will turn and people will die, unless I find a way to prevent myself from leaving this place. I must make sure that whatever happens, I don't escape. And here we are, so this is me, um, this is our player, we can put stuff onto us. And then this is what we use when we want to signal that we want to finish the game. So we, so we can grab things and you see the cursor turns gray when we can interact with stuff. We can go outside, axe here, firewood, um, because I know all these games inside and out, I'm just going to be playing all three of them at one sitting in one recording excuse me um because i because i know them pretty well okay this there's, there's a root here yeah from what i understand there's nothing you can actually do with the root uh so there's that we'll put this for wood uh get some key under here lock that up there should be a tinderbox in one of these there it is and close that up there's a key in here so this locks the front door that moves that over and then this unlocks this which scratches us the nails and stuff so now we can use the boards use the boards use the boards thank you and then you use the nails to wind it up and you see that's still locked so now we got to go over here uh, so we're gonna put the logs in the fire and then we'll use a tinder the tinder uh, the tinder box grab this and you notice there's a little note here that says the hut looks abandoned i'll stay here for a while and figure out what to do i hope i have and eaten whoever lived here tonight there's a full moon yep and but if you click on this side there's a thing over here it says just as i expected the witch talked the riddles she said that to weaken the beast i would need a handful of hot dust a crunchy herb something that grows in earth yet is not a plant she also mentioned that it would wear off quite fast so we have those things except for the okay so another thing that people don't actually often realize is a thing down here which has this and this so you can go out of here and so now what we need to do is you need to take the spice which is the hot dust the herb crunchy herb and something that grows in the earth here is not a plant which is the mushroom now we get the potion and we put it on the meat and then we hang the meat on the hook. And then, ha hang the meat on the hook, there we go. And then we chain ourselves and rope ourselves. And there we go. I hope you can hear me okay. Is my mic still audible to you? I think so, okay, yep. The transformation was complete. The werewolf was hungry, craving for flesh. He bit off the rope that was restraining him and struggled with the chain for a while. The meat on a hook provided a distraction, but after eating it, he felt very dizzy. He started ramming the block door. It took him some time for it to lock. At last, the werewolf was free. However, you will see the stamina is 0%. Aftermath, a calm night. The werewolf broke free from the hut, but it took him much time and effort. Weakened by the poison, Tired from ramming the door, he had no strength left. He fled to the woods, unnoticed by anyone. And boom! That's the first game. So now, let us move on to the second one. Don't Escape 2. This one takes on an almost completely different tone because it is in the mode of the zombie apocalypse. Um, and you have to keep the zombies from entering your basement. It's like a whole map this time. And you are limited more so in your time with this one as well. So yeah, Scriptwaller, amazing developer, by the way.
There we are. Okay. Zone Escape 2, the outbreak. New game. Let us begin. When the undead attacked, we weren't ready. Thinking back, we were never fully ready for this. The whole outbreak started over two weeks ago, and it's been getting worse ever since. This time, we barely made it. We got away, but we got bitten. We both knew what that meant. We decided to stay in this abandoned building for a while. We needed rest and sleep. A huge horde of living dead is coming this way. They will reach us by sunset. I have to lock this place up before that happens, and maybe, just maybe, I will see you another day. So here we are. Now we're in a little space. Bill's over here. He's wallowing in pain. Um, we got a bucket of sand here, window. I'm not actually clicking on these. Like, you notice the cursor is yellow inside. It's yellow this time instead of gray. I'm not actually clicking on these. It's just whenever you hover over it, it does some stuff. So there's a shovel we can grab. That's the padlock. That's keeping that locked up. Now we can go outside. There's actually some things in here. Uh, there's a bullet over here and a pair of cutters. So we can use these on the lock, actually. Or maybe not. There we go. Yeah, we can use that on the lock. Okay, we can set up traps here, but I'm not going to be actually starting anything just yet. These wires, I think you can not tell, go there. No gas. Okay, so now we have to go. Where do I have first? Um... I think this way. Yes, because here's Jeremy. And so now what we need to do is use this to get the cart. And that will grab this. We have the bullet. We don't have the gun quite yet, but we will get that soon. Um, there's a zombie in here. You can hear the uh, groaning. So now we need to go over this way. Bullet. Gas can. Batteries water bottle. Batteries go in here. Coin, which we could have used to get the cart instead. Painkillers, which we can bring to, um, to Bill. Now we're going to go to the church. Grab the axe, use the cart to grab the bricks, and to grab the cement. Oh, that's right, the thing over the thing wasn't actually cement. It was a bag of... Oops, no. It was a bag of, um, it was a box of sand. So this guy... Uh, he's lost his face. So what we need to do, uh, we'll make a full circle. Uh, we'll grab the gun here, and we'll load that up. We gotta, we gotta do this every time. It's kind of um, tedious, but it's whatever. And then, so we got, so we need to go back. So we'll go back to the shop, and we'll go to the zombie. And it's okay to do this one thing because. Because we um, we do need Jeremy's help for this, so we're gonna go and give this to Jeremy. I'm gonna go to the camera and we're gonna take the service. Make sure it's still recording. Okay, everything's good. So now we go back to the gas station. I forgot that I already had the axe on. Well, I have the axe on me now, so I'm about to sell this. Grab the rubber hose, another bullet. That we put in with the gun. This bookcase is actually from the Deep Sleep series. Um, which you'll see eventually. I'm, I'm definitely gonna play it on the channel. Um, so now we're going to go back to the church, and we're going to show this to Father Bernard, and he will come with us. So now we go to the crash site, and we're gonna take the axe, and we're gonna go into the woods. So now it's only take 30 minutes, and we have six hours and 40 minutes left. Me now six hours and 10 minutes. Now that we have the gas tube, we can now fill up our, our gas tank. Now what we could do is we could use this on the car and then make the trips a lot faster. However, what I like to do is we're going to come this way and now we're going to use it on the uh, thing here. But first, before we start building anything here, we're going to give Bill some painkillers. So now he can help us out. So we're going to use this with the cement and then we're going to stir it so now we combine this with the window this will only take 35 minutes because there are three of us and next we're going to go to the fence and we're going to repair it this is going to take an hour and 45 minutes. You see, we will still have plenty of time, 
Now we fill this. Turn it on. And next, we're going to use the shovel to dig out this spot here. And I'm going to set some sticks for a trap. 45 minutes, we're going to have plenty of time. I'm going to close this, lock it up tight, and then to give Bill some mercy and also not to attract any more dead. I'm going to kill him because we don't want him to turn. So we go in here, close the hatch, and wait. And this is how you get the ending where you survive with at least two people, which is called the savior ending, which is I have right there. So the sun is set and a horde of 50 undead arrived. Your reckless shooting has caused an additional five living dead to show up. Defense was, a, your, was your first line of defense. Powered by the generator, it fried five undead corpses to crisp before the electricity run out, went out. After the generator went silent, the fence stopped 15 hungry, hungry undead before the rest of them took it down. 20 undead creatures fell into the hole, piercing themselves against the pointy sticks placed inside. Bricking up the window was a good idea. 10 undead corpses tried to enter your hideout through the window, but ended up hopeless, helplessly excuse me, scratching the bricks. The locked door held up long enough to make five members of the horde lose interest and wander off. And nobody even entered our base. And then, there was silence. You, Jeremy, and Father Bernard have survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. The lucky chief is the survivor and the savior. Now what I could have done that I forgot to do with the alcohol is give it to Bill. And he would not have felt anything from the axe, which is what I should have done, but you know, that's whatever. And now, but that is done, we're going to move on to Don't Escape 3, which, again, has a completely different vibe to the previous two games. So we're waiting for that to load. You can already tell that the, the vibe is quite different, because this one takes place on a spaceship. Game by Spellboard. Let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, there you are! So it takes place on a spaceship, which is part of a mining company. I woke up with a terrible headache, like if someone hit my head really hard. Things were coming back to me slowly. I knew I was the pilot of this starship, the UEFS Horizon. But I had no idea how I wound up in here. I also had no idea what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in the ship's airlock, or the fact that a computer was counting down to something. Okay, so now we've boarded that. Access card open the casings. So now we can secure the door and now we can leave the airlock. Found the PDA. Mission log. We've detected we've located what is left of the derelict. Something tore apart like a tin can. We found something among the debris. Remains. I think they're human remains. We've also found some strange glowing crystal attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Grodberg will perform tests in the laboratory. Rick says there is another crystal floating in space. We'll have to check that later. The maps. And this is our map here. Definitely a lot more spaces in it this time, but they're all much smaller. Uh, status. Existing ship status. Navigation is offline. Communications offline. Warning. Last part is offline. Arrow went out one hour zero minutes. This dress call activated. Warning. Possible intruder alert. Okay, so we have our PDA. We've read everything in it. Now we need to check. Price access cards. We can't get in there quite yet. Oh boy, he's dead. Empty dial wasn't close. Now we have plasma torch, no fuel, welding mask. Okay, that's dark. Okay, this is creepy. I can't see anything, so I can't do anything with that quite yet. Close that. This helps with some screws. This is the bridge. Okay, captain's dead as well. We have a fuse. Okay. Captain's console. Access mission order. Mission orders. Your mission is to investigate the anomalous readings in the sector. We detected what may be a signature of one of our mining ships that was missing a few years ago. Move to the designated coordinates and scan the area. If any signs of the last ship are detected, investigate and report back. And we can also check the security cam. Okay, cam key is not available in this area. Okay, interesting. Now, I've forgotten a lot about this game. Maybe it's just the same kind of property damage. The captain's card, which I don't think is on him. It's triangle. No, I don't think he has I don't think he has it on it. Okay, so now we go this way. And 
here's the lab. There's the thing down here. What is this? Another log. Log 4. Initial tests, Dr. Amanda Grodberg. This object is what appears to be an upper half of human remains. All of the soft tissue is decomposed, which suggests that death occurred long before its exposure to the vacuum of space. There is a large crystal form attached to the bones in the abdominal region. The crystal itself produces a light, bright blue light. Despite being highly ener energetic, no other forms of radiation have been observed. However, it seems to be emitting subtle acoustic vibrations. Further tests are required. And we also cannot check the security cam here. Uh, there's things here. Such people have mixed her. There's a note. So, white, white, black, plus red dash circle, red dash white, red dash white, blue dot white, blue dot white. So you three of that, two of that, and four of that. Warning, three, four, and two amplifies explosive materials. Use with care. Okay, so we'll need to keep that in mind. There's a locker. Locked. Got a vial of antibiotics. A flask. And chemical analyzer used to analyze components. I guess we can analyze the um, uh, anti uh, antivitamins. Now we'll check our PDA. Chemical analysis. There it is. So antibiotic is two of uh, this one and one of that. Okay. And now let's move on to the lab. One open the system and door in place. Fuse box. One of the fuses is missing. Well, I happen to have one right here. Maybe this will turn on the lights in that other area. There it is. Oh, the nice. Ooh. Okay. That wasn't nice. Standard meal ration. I guess we take that. What's in here? Say a dessert, a pancake. Take that. And alcohol. Drink responsibly. There's stuff here. I did, I guess. It's like a workshop blueprint. Tank for a plasma torch. So I have to on it. Can find those, I guess. Got some plant leaves. Door to the bunk room. I don't know this passcode. So I guess we'll just leave now. Oh wait, there's something over here. Uh, sink. File detergent. I guess that's something you would probably find in the back. We're just gonna get out of here. That's creep me out. So now we can analyze these two these things. Scan complete. Scan complete. I'm gonna put this on the mic. Chemical analysis. So the detergent is one and two, and the plant cells are two. Okay. So we're gonna have to combine them to create the thing that we need here. Um, knife. That protection the plasma plant. Yeah, you're right. We need the protection. We need to find it. Uh, maybe we could pop this open with a knife. There it is. Oh, there's a key. Goggles, that's nice. Battle acid. We'll put that in there. Now we can analyze this. Chemical analysis. Okay, there's acid 2 and 1. And then we'll put these on. These sweet looking shades. <laughs> Deal with it. I love that. Alright, now. Go to the door. And we can weld this thing off. Now work with me, mouse. Uh, I have freaking hold, okay. It's been a while since I've played this. There we go, and now we can turn this on. I can enter here, and oh boy, that happened. Access card. Pair it with some tools. I don't think I have any. Can I not? Minus my PDA. Security camera. Okay, security camera and the speed of the graphic kind of displayed. Uh, I'm gonna wait because we want to get this fixed first. So now we can access the escape pod, I think. What happened to that? Oh. Okay, sorry about that. 
Anyway, so we got the toolbox now, which means we can go... Oh, jeez. Okay. That happened. Um, so now we can use the toolbox, fix this up, take 20 minutes. So hopefully the air should be online now. That's the ship the junior. He's dead. Light support. Okay. Fire sprinkler circuit access point. Um... Wait, we need... We need to fix the air support. How do I... Do I need to go back to the bridge? I, for, I forget. Um... Oh, here, okay. Message received. This is UEFS Warsaw. We picked up your distress call, and we are setting our course for the intercept. Be advised, we won't be able to reach you for two days. From your signal, we know that your life support system has failed. Has failed. If you are unable to make repairs, use the escape pod and await our arrival. Good luck. End of transmission. Okay. Okay, that was an eye. Um. I forget what it is I have to do. Um, how do I fix this? We're shot for prints. That in the 3D printer. I think we fixed the air. Uh, let's just go here. Aha! Okay. I don't know what this does. Portable igniter. No, we don't need that. Flux stabilizer. I don't know how I get thing to air working again. Can I eat? Not really hungry, okay. Um I forget what I'm supposed to do. Oh wait, I had the access card. Now I have this. Put on. Okay, so I can't. I have to stay in one area with the seat on. Is there anything that I missed in here? No, 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 no. We're not going to watch. Um, I forget if there's something that I'm missing. Oh, life support. Okay, there we go. Ah, destroyed. Okay, there we go. Three hours added. Nice. Okay, wonderful. Right in front of me the whole time. Okay, so now we can check the security camera. So you're upgrading pads, processes, fast coding. Oh, maybe I can do that. We have plenty of time now. Uh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Strap that bad boy on there. And now we go back. Ah, see, now it only takes 15 minutes. There's a dude in a suit. It's red. Just need the fans first. Okay, he did that. Broke that. He did, then he messed with that. One. Okay, so. One perfect video with the feeds. Okay. Okay. 
so we can mix the components. Let me double check the data pad. Um, okay, so we needed, we needed 242. Oh no, we needed 342, right? What was the thing? Hold on, wait a minute. What did the papers say? Wait a minute. 324, okay. So we need 324. So if we double check the data pad. Uh, analysis, I believe. Have we not checked everything? We didn't do the alcohol. Do the detergent. Okay. Check. Is there anything that I'm missing? Alcohol. So what if we do? There's still something we're missing. Wait. 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 Hold on. Blood sample, okay. Now, we pour the blood in there. There we go, okay. Now, ah, okay, here it is, okay, so. I think. I think it's antibiotic plant cells blood. Okay, so now, this is the mixer, so we got antibiotic, we got blood, plant, and antibiotics. Okay, so now we use that to grab it, so we got that. And then I think, if I remember correctly, we have to put this into a fire sprinkler. And in the isolation. So now I believe we can go into the lab. Ah, here we are. Okay, so another in at the data point. Log five. I was wrong, really wrong. The corpse didn't rot for any period of time. It's been consumed by the crystal. It's been growing inside. First, that man opened and continued to grow, using soft tissues as building material. I think this is what happened to the crew of the destroyed ship. Yeah, we might be next. As for now, I'm working on a formula for something that will dissolve the crystal, or at least weaken it so that it may be destroyed by force. The explosion might work. The sound's getting louder. It is very loud. Um. Explosives? I don't know if something there, but I guess that's fair. Um, is there a security cam here? I, there should be if this person's dead, yep. Okay, so I was just working on it. Guy comes in. They struggle. Crystal. Hey, oh, he, oh, he impales her on the crystal. Two. Okay. Getting out of there. That out. Guess now we can check on what happened here. Um. Security cam. Yep. Fifteen minutes. So he's working. The guy comes up. Yep. And then he smacks the dude on the head with it. That's how we got all bloody. One, two, four. Okay, and then I guess maybe the cap. Uh, security camera. Not available in this area. Okay. Maybe it was where the bloody dude was. God, this is creepy. Okay, security camera. And then it's yes. Okay. Dude's just sitting there. Dude comes in. Stabs him. Oh! Okay, one, two, four, eight. I think that's for this. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. There we go. Oh god, something's there. Is this the light switch? Oh! suit is empty. And it has my name tag. <coughs> what? Oh god, I'm coughing now. 
growing inside me. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Sleep, and it used me to kill everyone. And I try to get rid of me in the airlock. That's the captain's access card. Give me that. That's got nothing. And that's got nothing. Okay. So let's go check out the captain's logs. Uh, captain's console. No, wait, we need this. Access granted. Okay. Log, last entry. Captain's law, audio sense of shit. Someone is killing everyone. Rick is dead, Jeff is dead, I've locked myself on the bridge, I listen to a stress call in. Captain? Oh my god, Lieutenant, is that you? Yes, please let me in. I've locked the killer in the bunker. Hang on, I'll open the door for you. Sounds of a struggle log ends. Oh. They can take control of his mind. How does it from damage, safety protocols? Uh, okay, the protocols are. Can't control destruct. We do want to destroy this crystal, so I think what we're gonna have to do. We have to make an explosive. We have this, but we have to make a few things. We need to make the igniter. So we have that. Small crystal that I call filter. I don't actually know what the rest of this stuff does. There's coil and a magnetic filter. I don't I don't know what this stuff does. If someone wants to tell me what that does, let me know in the comments. Um I think we have to do to take the rest of the stuff that didn't go in the thing to dissolve the crystals and add it to the explosives. And then we mix it. Yes. And then we use the flask. Put it on the explosives to create a powerful bomb. Now, I think we want to self-destruct with me inside it. We don't want this crystal getting out. Okay. So I think we're going to hang back here with the engine. That's me. And then, detonate. So, I believe this is what we do. Shipping contamination level. 100%. Beyond blood that rise and killed everyone who tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. Dr. Rodburst Chemical Rescue works intended for weakening the crystal and making it vulnerable. We tried to destroy it with a bomb by blowing up the whole ship just to be sure the power blast left nothing behind. At least that's what we hoped. When you opened the bunk room, you learned the truth. The crystals possessed you somehow. That was quiet acoustic vibrations went up for the spread to start growing inside your body. You knew there was no way out of it, so you did what had to be done. You didn't need the charges. The explosion consumed you together with the crystal. Tip of contamination zero level, zero percent. New EFS Warsaw found nothing more than scrap metal floating in space. Nobody knew what really happened until a strange glow discovered among the debris. You gotta be kidding me, the end lost achievements, the truth. The truth of time earth murder decontamination by the right decontamination level to zero percent. Alrighty. And then this will be be playing uh, in its own separate series. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh lovely little video playing all three of the original Don't Escape games. I will be playing the Deep Sleep games as well eventually once I get through all the Don't Escape games. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And make sure to ring that bell so you know when all of my gaming videos go up. And anyway guys, I will see you all in the next video. Excuse me. See you all in the next video. Bye everybody.